Welcome everyone, the organizers, Tina, Carita, and then the other people there. Uh, also, I say hello to the people that uh, will uh, watch the recording afterwards. Okay, uh, so well, uh, good morning to everyone again. Uh, my name is Jose Gonzalez, uh, and I'm going to talk about, uh, as, the, as, as Tina said, uh, about the flipped classroom experience that we had here for group of subjects. Uh, we are uh, basically a group of teachers uh, of this Ferris group here that uh, we, we teach on uh, fluid mechanics and uh, fluid machinery. So it's a part of the STEM uh, kind of subject. And on that frame, uh, we had a project. Uh, I will try to explain uh, slightly the, the basic ideas not to go too much in the details because uh, we don't have much time, but uh, first uh, definition and goals uh, on the outline, then framework uh, the, took slightly on the, on the subjects. Then I will expand a little bit more on the methodology. We will go to do some sample exercise. In this case will be a video and then uh, talk on the Kahoot games and finally some conclusions. This will be the outline of my presentation from now on. So flipped classroom, it's a novel approach, uh, different to the uh, classical uh, and very widespread uh, kind of teaching uh, so far. And then here we have, uh, instead of the classical uh, lesson, as we will see, uh, we have some other activities that uh, we'll try uh, to to, to uh, complete the, the, the competence uh, of, of the student in, in any subject. So in fact, the uh, academic year of the pandemic uh, changed many of the teaching methods that we had. Uh, and we started with the remote classes and a lot of activities which were not uh, live activities, let's say, and, and therefore we somehow changed all the, all the frame of the university university studies and then the question is after that passed should we go should we go to the um, let's say classical or already known methods or uh, try to do a step forward and try to implement all this in a new uh, methodologies or new ways of teachings new ways of studying everything so in this case we try that path, we try that way. And we started to, let's say, join together many parts that we already had, like the uh, PowerPoint classes. Uh, we had the, some ideas on or some uh, innovative um, parts with Kahoot, uh, implementing Kahoot, uh, all the gamification in, of the subject. It was already started, but to, we wanted to, as I said, do a step forward. And, and then we had the remote classes and also some, we started also to record some of our classes. So we, we started to use the YouTube platform and, and all this was uh, the first idea of why not to do the, the, the kind of global idea of the flipping uh, classroom and join all that, uh, all that parts together. And this is what we did in, in our, uh, in our um, project, uh, we, we define uh, like two or three main steps. Uh, for instance, the theory classes would be in the YouTube platform, uh, all of them. So as in all the flipped methodology, the students should work prior to the class and then they will come to the class uh, to bring some questions. And that's the way we did more or less the theory part. And then for the problems, uh, we did a also innovative approach. Uh, we dev we divided the, the classroom into groups, a series of groups, and then each group had to uh, solve the problems of um, one particular chapter in the subject. So for that, uh, the students were provided with the solutions and, and they should work together as a team. So we had here the teamwork uh, implemented so you see that there are many parts there in, in our approach that uh, are from uh, different innovations and the, 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 the work here was to join them together. 
And then uh, in that second part, uh, additionally, the students, the group of students should try to solve a different or new pro problem for which they, they would not have the solutions. And finally, um, the, the picture was com uh, finished with the uh, Kahoot uh, tests, uh, Kahoot uh, problems to solve uh, for the students and in such way cover the assessment in the theory um, that we had. Um, about the framework or targeted subjects, uh, uh, my my group of uh, teachers, uh, the group of teachers that uh, that I'm representing, uh, as I said at the beginning, we teach uh, fluid mechanics and fluid machinery, also a uh, subject called industrial facilities. Um, in fact, for the number of students uh, and the year, uh, the year there means uh, second, uh, third, or fourth year in in our um, in our grade in our um, bachelor grade. Uh, and for the number of students, uh, we, we, ha we had to choose the subjects in third and fourth year um, because in the second year, we had a lot of students and it was quite uh, hard to implement uh, this, this kind of met new, new methodologies. In fact, uh, we did that for the, for the English uh, teaching classes. The, the number of students there you see uh, one number and then uh, into parentheses the number of students which are involved in the in the English uh, grade in the English uh, studies. So we focus that to to the first to the English part and then probably we will try to span it to the to the Spanish uh, teaching uh, lecture. Let's say the activities that are in each mark for for the students beside the exam. Um, Again, talking on the assessment. So we have the lab laboratory sessions. This is apart from this methodology. It's not involved here. Then we have the problems in class, which is uh, part of the methodology, the cahoots for the theory. And we did also some visit to a power st station, which is also not, not included in the, in the methodology. And for the theory, uh, uh, as far as we had the uh, video recorded classes, we um, Try to to retrieve them. We we in fact we redid all the recordings that we had from the pandemic years, and and we did the uh, like final versions of, of the classes. About the lab sessions and the visit to the power station, uh, nothing much to do. This is a part of the of the methodology, as I said, and only I have a picture here on on our last bit, visit to the to that uh, hydraulic power station, here in in Spain in Asturias. For the material that we have as uh, base material, um, we have the fluid machinery system uh, classroom or lecture with uh, five chapters in total, about uh, 268 uh, slides, total number of slides uh, with the different chapters. The different chapters are, are important uh, because they, they will be uh, the supporting of the of the group of students to to do the problem solving and also for the kahoots because each chapter will have a associated kahoot for the theory and and this in fact this was already done in the subject before uh, the innovation right this is for one of the subjects and the second one industrial facilities we have uh, this subject is a shared one is in our team is not a whole subject, we do only half of it. And therefore we have the same number of chapters but much lower number of slides. In this particular case, uh, less than 130 slides. Some examples, uh, we develop as teachers uh, many slides as, as I have shown. And an example for the two subjects is there. It's uh, probably too technical for for this kind of webinar, but uh, uh, there are classical installations in our field, in our fluid mechanics field. Uh, first one on the left hand side is a kind of uh, pneumatic system. In fact, uh, oleo hydraulic is a system with uh, different valves and different uh, elements, actuators and so on. 
And on the right hand side is for the second subject, industrial facilities. And it's a kind of uh, delivery, water delivery system for a house uh, in this case. So for our methodology, the, for the flipped classroom, as, as we developed it, we had as different steps. So we had the English lectures, we had the videos with the theory. We did this um, second recording with the screencast o -matic. Uh, and then for the problems, apart from the groups that uh, I already depicted, we had this uh, powerful tool, the MATLAB, uh, Simscape Fluid, which is helping us to, let's say, model all, all our systems and give a very, let's say, um, pow um, important or interesting tool for the students to visualize the systems, how they work, uh, change some values. We will see that on the video later on. And then the, the Kahoots for each chapter, it's uh, helping to uh, to the theory assessment in, in this case, in this uh, methodology. And with the, all that, we build the, the, the flipped classroom and um, the whole method, it's kind of closed in this, in this regard. Uh, for the two subjects, right? So for the videos, uh, as I said, we had as two kind of recordings, the, let's say, live one with the pandemic classes, pandemic years, and then the studio recording. There is an example here of, the, uh, of that uh, recording, uh, let's say, studio recording with the screencast o uh, that we have already, already performed. Uh, right? Part of the of the project is that. So again, with this subject, uh, with this sorry, with this uh, software, we we did the recording. Uh, we we established kind of a methodology for each chapter. Uh, first, we do a script with test and the um, existing slides. Then we did uh, some first shooting and initial takes, and then final recording. Uh, we were kind of handicapped by the uh, time limit of, of the recordings because uh, for this software, we didn't have the license. So we had to use the free license. And at the time, uh, it was uh, limited to 15 minutes. But on the other hand, this was good for the students because uh, otherwise they would get a huge videos with huge uh, amount of uh, information. And like that, we did kind of uh, chopping of, the, of, the, of each chapter. Right. The involved technologies there then were the PowerPoint, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, the Kahoot, uh, and, and, and YouTube in this part. Uh, also, we use the Microsoft uh, Teams uh, to, to do the uh, lectures, live lectures. And you have there the result, the two playlists for the two subjects that we did. Uh, on the um, uh, left hand side, we have the QR code for the uh, fluid machinery and system, and on the right uh, on side we have the QR code for the uh, industrial facilities. This is given to the students at at at, at the um, current state of the of the teaching. This is given to the students at the beginning. So at the beginning of the lectures, let's first day or minute zero of the lectures, they they already have the whole set of of the lecture for the whole uh, uh, lecturing period, right? On on the two subjects. So this is quite. Uh, um interesting for them because they can all the time uh, review any any of the of the classes any of the theory classes or uh, they cannot in fact advance in, in in what refers to the methodology or or to the flipped classroom methodology advance the theory to go to the class and then pose the questions there right uh, they they have to deliver some individual reports uh, on the activities, uh, finally, there is an algorithm for the for the activities, uh, attendance. Uh, then part of the of the of each individual mark is uh, part of the group mark also. Um, then there is some individual uh, mark, and then finally also individually uh, for each student the mark uh, that they obtain in the Kahoots. Uh, finally, for the let's say. Um, uh, agreement degree of the students, it was quite high. We did some uh, surveys, satisfaction surveys, and we got quite good uh, 
results on that uh, on that uh, indicator, right? For the for the um, uh, let's say the um, agreement or or satisfaction on on the on the methodology. Uh, going deeper on onto that, not only considering the students' point of view, but uh, to get also uh, the idea on, on the global marks, uh, we see uh, here a kind of evolution. Um, without the methodology, the average uh, of the mark uh, for this, let's say, apart from exam activities, because all these activities are apart from the exam, so uh, students were getting around uh, 0.6 out of one, uh, and and we see after we implemented the 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 methodology the first year, we already had an increase in the marks to go uh, at this point to 0 0.72 out of one. So it's a kind of non-dimensional number, and uh, with a standard deviation of 0 0.82. This uh, is on the I'm talking on the graph uh, at the left, uh, at the upper part uh, of the slide, uh, left hand side, and we see the evolution of the marks for the different students at the academic year 2019-2020. Uh, um, as I say, we started with the with the methodology here. Average was uh, already risen from the initial value. In this case, we reached 0 0.72 and standard deviation of the different students 0 0.82 for the first uh, um, subject. Uh, when we develop uh, more the project uh, for the other years, uh, 2021 and 2022 uh, academic year, uh, we get a slight increase again on the marks. Marks now, I'm talking on the right-hand side graph, uh, right, have right have risen to 0 0.735, and standard deviation was uh, uh, decreased. So it means that the students uh, were working more um, uh, as 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 a unit, let's say, more uh, together in in a sense. Um, complementary activities, group activities, and everything were making them. Uh, let, let's say more uh, powerful on the, on the subject and getting uh, better results. This is the same for the for the other subject. I don't have so many data on this subject, but the average here of the of the marks uh, have risen also, starting with the initial value. Then we get to 0 0.51, and in the next uh, academic year we get to 0 0.66 as average of the marks of the activities. And also the standard deviation decreased a lot. So again, meaning that the students were um, a kind of, um, let's say, uh, working in a more uh, community way. The satisfaction survey results, uh, I already mentioned something. Uh, we did some, uh, uh, let's say, try to, get some values uh, out of the questions. We did kind of a lot of uh, uh, surveys uh, for the students. Uh, the questions are there. Uh, did you assist to the classes? Did you find the flipped classroom too hard to follow? Did you find the subject easier to study for the exam after the flipped classroom? Uh, did you find a method well explained and well built? Globally speaking, what is your level of satisfaction with the new experience? And then some uh, part with suggestion. As I said, the results were quite good uh, on the satisfaction for the two subjects, repeating a little bit uh, the values again. And then um, on the Simscape uh, part of, this, of the methodology, um, we provided the students with uh, some um, basic um, um, systems here on, the, on this slide, we have the classical pumping system between two tanks, uh, suction tank and end tank. This is uh, some of the, let's say, classical or um, uh, typical problems on the subject. And we did that um, model them in the MATLAB with the Simscape uh, software. And, well, uh, 
I will show you later on in two slides the, the video that we recorded from that. Um, on the left hand side you have the system, on the right hand side you have the how how the the um, MATLAB model is is built with the different elements. The different elements are predefined in the in the system in the software here. For this software, we were uh, luckier than with the recording one because the University of Oviedo has uh, uh, paid the license for us, so we have the license of of this uh, uh, software, and we can work uh, deeper with the students on that uh, software. The other example, and then we, I will show you the videos, is uh, this one is uh, kind of flow rate control system. Uh, there are two options here on the slide. The, on the right hand side, again, we have the bypass valves uh, and pressure line valves. So it's the solution with the, let's say, basic system, pumping system, as I showed in the pre previous slide, but here with some flow rate control valves. And then on the right hand side, uh, on the lower part of the slide, we have the um, reg regulation of flow rate control by variable speed. So let's stop here with the presentation and have a look, quick look at the videos. And then we will finish with the, with the presentation. Uh, quick look, it's uh, only for, you to, for me to show you how the videos work, very quick for the students how they can change uh, parts in the in the system we are choosing here the uh, here the system how it works and then we change some valves for instance here we increase uh, value of, a, of resistance of a valve and then how it changes how the the pumping system changes we can change also the pump different pumps there and then calculate and the system automatically provides us a, a solution. Uh, we can change all the variables. Um, this is good for the students because they can try different options of the same system um, and they see numerically how the system behaves, right? Uh, second video with the flow rate control, it's slightly more uh, complex, but uh, Again, more or less the same idea. We can change uh, all the all the variables in the system and calculate them how it works, right? Pressure in the tanks, everything can be changed, and then calculate. It, uh, this th those slides are in this, those videos are in Spanish. Uh, sorry for this, but uh, we don't have the English version for that. And then. Almost finished. Uh, the Kahoot questions, how did we build them with the different parts? Question, uh, image, we have made a huge work with that, a lot of uh, um, images and even videos uh, have been built for, for that purpose to have them on the question. Then the different answers, and then we have to choose uh, only one correct answer. The Kahoot is quite uh, good in uh, experience also in this subject because uh, they have uh, the students uh, like them very much also. This is one uh, example screenshot of of the games. So we developed as five chapters uh, per subject. Uh, so this is already. 10 and then 20 questions per chapter. This is already 200 questions with 200 images, 200 uh, different options. So it's a, uh, again, huge amount of, of work. Uh, final conclusions. We developed this uh, Philip classroom for the STEM subjects based on fluid mechanics field. Uh, under project uh, uh, 124, 500 from the University of Oviedo. Uh, we did a lot of uh, material uh, development, and then we we tried to join them together in the in the in the method: video recording, subject gamification, problem-based learning, system simulation. I think I have shown you uh, most of our work. As a result, uh, the, the the flipped classroom has been implemented 
um, along the years and has been fully fully implemented uh, as this year this academic year 2023-2024 and due to the let's say quite important success success of our experience we are trying to expand it to other uh, subjects in the future so this is all uh, on my behalf i thank you uh, for the attendance and I'm open to any questions.